So we've just um, had Knox's Transformers party, the results of which are still behind me. And now it's Wednesday before Friday, of which I'm going to be hosting my own little adult party. It's about 15 to 20 people if everyone actually comes, which I doubt, so I'm catering for 15. Um, and yeah, it's a bohemian sort of chilled, relaxed sort of vibe. Um, I didn't really have anything that I needed, um, but do you know what? Mother-in-laws. My mother-in-law has such an amazing stash of scarves and things, which is exactly what I needed, and let me show you that now. Scarves for days, yo. So the idea is that we have all of these different color pattern scarves, all tied up in the shape of a tent. Um, um, there's some really cool colors underneath here and patterns and things, which is just exactly, totally the vibe. And then you sit on the floor, very chilled. So I'm a little bit OCD about colors matching and things. So I've taken out the things that I think kind of obviously clash, like bright green and whatever. So I'm keeping it sort of pinks and purples and blues and like sort of neutrally but still bright and patterned Yay! the girls have graciously parted with their hula hoops or not parted with but agreed to let me make them black and silver so shot for that thanks girls i raided my in-laws garden and got a whole bunch of ivy in various lengths and a big palm leaf um, and a few other monster, all of those things. Um, I'm going to put it around the hula hoops and hope that it looks awesome. I'm sure it will. I just made one of the first hula hoop plant wreath things and I think it looks freaking cool. Yay. I decided not to put that happy birthday thing in the middle of it. That's going to go on the cake stand. So yeah, I think it rocks. Now I just have to find where, somewhere to put it. Alcohol is definitely a place that you could save money of. Uh, you could ask people to bring a bottle of something, but that's not really how we roll. I like to have everything. So I did things that I enjoy because, you know, it's my party. So I'll make them drink Savannah if I want to. So there'll be Savannah, Vintuk, even though I don't drink Vintuk, Seth really wanted that. And then I got my favorite wine, Demis Fontaine Pinotage. You could of save there because wine is expensive and I got more of that. Um, and then a couple of bottles of, of white wine. So for 20 people, it should be more than enough. I'm about to make a scarf tent. Seth thinks that my idea is completely impossible. He laughed. He told his architect friend. They both laughed at me. But I'm going to prove them wrong. It is possible. I hope. I mean, they're just architects. What do they know? Step one, put all the corners into one section and tie with a band. Step two, find the ones that are next to each other and tie those corners together at the bottom where they meet. Um, so like this one will tie to this one, will tie to that one, will tie to this one. Do you get what I'm saying? So that eventually you go around an entire circle and then the middle will be that. This is all in theory. Let's check if it works in practice. Okay, so it kind of works, but it also kind of totally doesn't work because they are all very long, thin scarves. So they all kind of come in apart, obviously. But also when you spread it out, it's not actually that wide. So I think what I'm going to have to do is staple them to each other and hope that my mom and law is okay with that. I promise to remove all staples. Promise. Updated my idea. So where I've obviously tied one corner and being long and narrow, they have a short corner very close to the top. So where the short corners meet, I've tied in another long narrow scarf. Now, together, they make much more tent vibes and then their long sides are together so should technically be able to be tied at the bottom just stapled a little bit on the way up and make a broad tent here's crossing fingers i think it worked um 
like obviously still gaping holes in it but I'm pretty sure that if you build off that it will be wide enough to at least get some kind of middle peak tent vibe going on I know there's still holes on the side and I don't know what to do about that my mom said it's probably a bad idea to staple it because it might just ruin a scarf but so now I need to think of something else hi it's Friday morning and it's time for party prep on steroids um turns out that my plan that I had for the round fit and then the out of the scarves is not gonna work we're also gonna try and do it outside despite the fact that there's clouds and a seven percent chance of rain we're just gonna wing it um because that's actually what i want is to be outside what i don't want is to be cold and wet so let's hope and pray that it actually works so now what I'm going to do with the scarves is I'm going to make like basically one big blanket so that Seth can tie a rope from the tree to the house and we can throw it over Apex TP thing, tent sorted. And we're getting there. So I've tied um, up at the top there, that's the basic line of the Apex and that's how long it is. I've tried to pair them so that they match in width. Um, they don't all match in length, but it's close enough. And then I've tied them at the bottom as well. But sure, I hope this works. So the idea is to have it out here. But despite the blue sky on this side, check out those trees. Uh, yeah. And it's windy and it's cold and I'm already cold. But the worst part is on this side. Let me show you. Look at that cloud. Look what's coming. Um, I'm still adamant to kind of do it in outside though. We're just going to use the gas heater and stuff. And I've literally unpacked every single um, blanket that we have in the whole house. So the one lot will be for the floor to sit on, on the grass. And the other lot I'll have like a basket of keep warm blankets. So... That people can wrap it around their shoulders if they feel in chilly. Super cheesy sign and basket of blankets. Check. Revelation 1 million with this tent situation. Realize it's probably not the best idea to um, put the apex of the tent where they are tied together. It's probably better to actually put them in half in the middle of the actual scarf then it's stronger so now I'm going to tie more scarves on to the one side moment of truth <laughs> it's up doesn't look like much now but we're gonna peg it into the floor and hope for the best making vague progress sorta kinda can you see it mom mm. Progress! Mommy, <laughs> Watch your head. Mommy, can you put one it's getting there. On? Getting there, getting Mommy, there. Phase one complete. Phase two. Tent and blankies. Next table. Phase three. Table in. <laughs> Phase four, food to come. Is that so comfortable? Hey, you're having the best time ever. Do you feel bohemian? It's T minus two hours until everyone arrives, and now it's time to turn all of this into snacks worth eating. Wish me luck. Dessert is done. Hmm. Oh, the lighting is so bad. But I'm starting to put out the food onto the table. Seth putting in the little fairy lights in the tent. So, yeah, I think it's working.
The flower eyes worked! Yay! dig our channel whatever that even is this video sort of situation that we're doing I'm trying to do some vlog type things I'm trying to do some edited type things and um, just generally life stuff you know like little bits of life um, if you dig it if it's your vibe then subscribe if it's your vibe subscribe is that our new no it's not our new hand <laughs> we're not gonna do that again but there you go Thanks for watching. Some bloopers. Step one. Make them all, all the corners, into a knot. Phase one complete. Ah.